Hello, this is Ujwal Gandhi from SpatialThoughts.com, and we are back with yet another Spatial Analysis Challenge. I've been posting these challenges from time to time, and these are fun little ways to practice some spatial analysis skills and maybe discover some tools that you may not have come across. The idea is I'm going to show you a problem. You will try to solve it with any spatial analysis tool or programming language that you're comfortable with. Try to come up with a solution yourself first. And then if you want to continue watching, I'll show you one solution that I came up with. And then I'll link to another solution that many people on Twitter and LinkedIn have also come up with. So let's dive right into it. So here's a problem. You have uh, some data sets in a sample geo package that is linked in the description. It has got two layers. There's a layer A and layer B. So this, the layer A is the green points. Layer B are the blue points. And the challenge is that you want to buffer each of these green points from layer A so that each point contains exactly five points from layer B. So your solution might look something like this. So there is a layer uh, with the expected results. And you can see this is the, the result that I'm expecting that each point is buffered so that there are five points from layer B inside it. And depending on the, the point and how far away it is from other points, you'll have a large or small buffer. So if you look at this, po this point, it's been buffered so that there are one, two, three, four, five points inside. And you can see uh, it is right here. So the sixth uh, point is not there. You have exactly five points. And you can also verify this. Once you do this, you should just run the count points in Polygon tool and just make sure that there are exactly five tools, five points inside of the Polygon. So go and try to solve this, uh, get the data and use any tools that you're comfortable with and see if you can solve this. Or you can continue watching and I'll show you one QGS-based solution. All right, so let's see how we can go ahead and solve this one. If you think about it, this problem is a nearest neighbor problem. If you can figure out what is the distance to the fifth nearest neighbor or sixth nearest neighbor for each point, and then you can figure out a buffer distance uh, that is appropriate for this. So for each point in layer A, you want to find a list of nearest neighbors and then pick the sixth one so that you have a distance to the sixth neighbor and you can then do a buffer. Okay. Uh, there are many ways to solve it. One uh, way if you are comfortable with the QGIS processing toolbox and if you search for nearest neighbor, you'll see some matches. Uh, there's this tool called join attributes by nearest. And this tool will allow you to find n nearest neighbors. Here I would do uh, six nearest neighbors and then uh, once you have the six nearest neighbor, you will find the distance to that. Once you run this tool, you'll also have the distance to the each neighbor. Run this, filter it to the six nearest neighbor distance, and then use that distance as a value for your buffer tool. In buffer tool, you can specify an attribute that you want to use, and you can use that. Um, that works great, um, and you can get the answer that you're looking for. Uh, but I want to show you a little more interesting solution using the expressions in QGIS. So let's take our layer A and we'll run uh, an expression on that. Okay. So I'm going to go to processing toolbox and I'm going to use the buffer tool. Yes, okay, so I want to buffer layer A. And instead of giving a static distance, I'm going to add an expression here. Okay. So I'm going to go to edit and then we can enter an expression here. Uh, this problem requires you to look at two layers. So you have writing the expression in layer A, and you want to find the distance to the fifth or sixth nearest neighbor from layer B. So we want to use the aggregate function. And if you search for a, a function called nearest, there is a function called overlay nearest, which is the shortcut for the, the larger aggregate function here. So let's write this function overlay nearest. And this the first parameter is a layer. So we'll say we want to look at layer B here. Uh, next one is the expression. Uh, once you find features from layer B, what do you want? Uh, for now, let's just uh, look at the FID. Let's just look at the feature ID of this uh, particular feature. Um, and then there's a limit, how many neighbors you want. And here I'm gonna do five neighbors. I want five neighbors of this, okay? And as I complete the expression, you can see, I have a list of five FIDs, which is the all the nearest features. So that's great. And I can just, this is a list. So I can just say, give me the last element and I can use index four, which is 
the, uh, the fifth element indexing starts from zero, or I can just do negative one. Okay, negative one is the, give me the last one. Okay, so this expression gives me the FID of the last particular feature. Instead of FID, I can just ask for dollar geometry. That give me the geometry of that particular feature. So now I have the point feature, which is the fifth nearest neighbor of that particular feature. And now I have the feature, uh, I have the geometry, I can just compute the distance. So I can say, give me the distance from the current points geometry, which is dollar geometry, to the fifth neighbor's uh, geometry from layer B. And now you can see I have the distance uh, and the units of the CRS for this layer is in meters. So I have the distance in meters. Let's uh, run this and see what happens. So the distance will be computed from this expression, which will be the distance to the nearest, fifth nearest neighbor. I'm gonna leave this uh, to default. Uh, this is not the final solution, but we'll come back to this. Yeah, let me run this. And you can see I have uh, variable buffers and looks like it worked. We have, you know, the point B here and we have the, the buffer layer here. And it looks like there's one, two, three, four, and fifth, but the fifth point is not inside of this. And the reason is uh, in GIS systems, there is no real way to represent a curve. That in, in modern GIS systems, there's a curve, but buffers usually approximate a circle with segments. So you can see we have five segments in each quadrant that is approximating a circle. And that's why even though we said distances to this fifth point, it missed that fifth point. So we want to make the point, uh, the buffer little, uh, have more segments so we can approximate the circle better. So I'm gonna run the buffer tool again. And this time I'm gonna to go to select the layer A and apply the expression. It'll be in our last expression. And this time we'll make the segments to be a large number. Let's make it 50 segments. So it's as close to circle as it can be. We run this, we get a new buffer here, which you can see it's now much closer to a circle. And you can see it since we gave the distance to the fifth point, the point exactly lies on this. And again, it misses that. Uh, this is because uh, when you compute the distance to that point, the at best, the point would be touching the polygon. It won't be inside it. It'll be touching it. And uh, sometimes due to the floating point precision, how you represent points as a, you know, as a number, and those numbers can have some inaccuracies because they're represented as floating point and you can, cannot match that exactly. So because of that tolerance, you sometimes may miss that one point. So that's the reason I've been saying fifth or sixth point. So a better way to do this is that we want exactly five points to ensure that there are exactly five points and you don't miss any points due to this floating point precision errors. Let's do something a little smarter. So I'm gonna run the buffer tool again, take layer A and go back to the expression. So now instead of using the fifth or the sixth uh, neighbor, we're gonna say, we're gonna take the average distance between the fifth and sixth neighbor. So I'm gonna say, take this fifth neighbor, take the sixth neighbor here, take the fifth neighbor here. So you have two distances, distance to the fifth neighbor, distance to the sixth neighbor. And we'll want to buffer it by the average distance between those two. So that means you are ensured, you are assured that you have at least, you know, all the points, five points inside, but you don't touch the sixth point. Okay, so let's just uh, let's say this plus this divided by two, this simple average. Okay. So now we have a distance here. And again, we're gonna change the segments to be a large number so we don't miss it. And now when you run this, you'll see that your buffer will be the average distance between the fifth and the sixth point. And this is the more robust solution to this problem where your buffer will contain exactly five points. Hope you enjoyed this challenge and learned something new. Look in the description for more solutions using different programming language. I received solutions using Python, R, SQL, and all sorts of different technologies. So if you want to look at those, look at the description and stay tuned for more such challenges and more videos. Thank you.